interchange and electrons uh, going here and there and whatnot. But, uh, or, or, or say electricity flowing through a metal is because a metal actually has a bunch of sort of free electrons where the electrons are not so tightly bound to their uh, nuclei. They're sort of um, not so, they're not so tightly married to their nuclei. They're kind of free. And so they flow more, flow more uh, freely and, and we get electric current, right? But all of this stuff, whether how much electromagnetic force you have or how much you don't have, whether electromagnetic force is a thing or not, will give us neutral atoms or not. So of course, again, very important, right? So very important to understand all this. However, it was re realized early in the 20th century that in order to apply Maxwell's theory in detail to atoms, ideas from quantum physics and relativity would have to be incorporated. Because again, it's the theory of the very small or the physics of the very small. When you go to subatomic levels, scales, length scales, where you're looking inside of an atom or thinking in terms of uh, even the electron, even to actually write down the equation of motion or equation, um, yeah, equation of motion. How is the position of an electron, for example, changing with time? This is actually something that we can think about, right? Because in physics, we love to write down equations for things. And we love to write down equations of motion, for example. We have laws of motion from Newton's. We have laws of gravitation, which is also sort of motion, right? Or, or, or the... Um, laws of motion of the planets, how we figured out all the things with the earth going around the sun, all the other planets, what they do. 